Sorry, Peter. I get to be first on every question? <laughs> every question? Sorry? Do I get to be first on every question? Um, I, I, that is how I plan to proceed, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's sort of a joke between us that Eric and I tend to sit on the ends, and in some groups it goes back and forth, back and forth. Don't suck the calendar. So, um, okay. Well, identity politics um, is something that I respect, okay? But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a middle-aged white guy who lives North Cooley Highway, all right? I can't change that. I really can't. Um, I supported Hillary Clinton. I voted for Barack Obama twice. I don't feel as if the leader representing me has to look exactly like me in order to follow my, you know, to share values with me and to do things in the community. Um, I am doing outreach in a number of different communities and have through my advocacy work for many years. I am not a stranger to the historic black communities within Arlington, which is not Green Valley, Halls Hill, um, Highview Park, in Arlington View, for example, or into the Buckingham community or around Glebe and Persian, where we have a lot of Latino members. I would be a county board member for everyone. People with kids, people without kids, the old, the young, people of color, Males and females. Thank you. Diversity all throughout our community, whether it's in our schools, our workplace, our government, uh, on sports teams, uh, and virtually, you know, Girl Scout troops, virtually every aspect of our life, diversity is something that should be valued and treasured. It's certainly something that my family and I, that, that we value. In particular, we enjoy a family tradition of every year when the class photos come back, we look at them and you see all the beautiful faces and read the names and know that our kids are getting something that you cannot put a value on in terms of having that built-in diverse culture. So when it comes to the question of how do we get better uh, representation of that diversity in our government, I think it comes to look around this room right here. This is a very diverse crowd I can see looking out. It might skew a little bit older, but we had the YDs a few weeks ago. But in terms of racial makeup, it means that. And so it's about acknowledging where there is a bias and doing what we can to work together as a community to make it happen. So I serve as a co-chair of Outreach for the Arlington Democrats and uh, founded a group with about uh, 20, now 60 other volunteers called Building Bridges. And the core, you know, we found that when we knocked on doors in neighborhoods all over Arlington during an election, that was only when we showed up, during an election. So with Building Bridges, what we do is we go into communities and build deep, meaningful relationships with these communities. And when that trust develops, we worked on a historic preservation project with the non community. I see Ms. Portia a couple of times a month. When that relationship develops and there's trust, we can talk to these communities, whether it's not, whether it's some of the Latino neighbors, it's high school internships, it's volunteers, uh, Goodwin House. When you have their trust, you can talk to them about being more civically engaged, coming to an ACDC meeting, serving on our commissions, using the Arlington way to our advantage. The path to building America, rebuilding, starts locally. And I want to make sure that all of these community folks get involved in our political process, participate, serve on our commissions, and change America for the good. I am a servant leader. As a volunteer firefighter EMT and a volunteer at the Arlington Free Clinic, I serve all of Arlington in a very vast cross-section. I also believe in active recruiting. As a professional, I engage recruiters across the country and the nation to bring employees into the cancer association that I work with. So that way, we can have the breadth and the depth that we need to best represent our patients and our physicians. I also believe in succession planning. Before I made the decision to run for county board, I sat down with my vice chair for the Emergency Preparedness Advisory Commission. I sat down with my vice president for my civic association because I do believe in building up, building from the bottom up, and I have seen patients at the Arlington Free Clinic who are now volunteers there because of the work we have been able to do. Thank you. 